Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me today. I know I'm getting this video up a little bit late, but um, it's been a crazy, um, crazy week. So I'm gonna, before I dive into the video, I'm just gonna give you a quick update on Jay. We went to his um, follow-up visit from the surgeon this week and he's doing remarkably he's doing remarkably well progressing nicely considering that he had a fall and he had a fracture on top of his surgery you know which of course sets would set anyone back so he's been doing really great um anyways I, we went to another event this week i'm going to close a, a couple of pictures here but we went to an event that uh, honored sort of leadership in my real estate industry and both Jay and I have been past presidents of our local realtor, um, not our local, our state realtor association. So they had this event for past leadership, current leadership and future leadership. It was really a nice, nice evening. As you can see from the photos, it was actually the first time that we'd been out to an event um, since prior to Jay's surgery. So it was really super good. We we stayed out a little bit later uh, and then it's an hour ride home. So it was late night, but we had a, a great, great time. So in this video, and I hope you stay tuned, I'm going to talk about um, sponsored videos, sp sponsored content, and there's a whole bunch of controversy going on right now in the wig community. I'm not even going to go in there about sponsored or non-sponsored and different interpretations, but I'm going to talk about it just in general from the perspective of sponsored versus non-sponsored. And I'm going to share with you um, a little bit of my morning routine. Many of you have asked about my morning routine and a couple of products that I have purchased. One I bought um, a while ago, a couple of months ago, well, more than that, beginning of the summer, I think it was, and um, it's a vacuum suction beauty device. Sounds kind of kinky, but I'm going to talk about that. And then I most recently purchased the Evertone Everlift microcurrent facial toning device. I've used the New Face, I've used the Fabushi, and now I'm using the Evertone. I'm going to try that because my Fabushi is starting to poop out on me. And my New Face pooped out on me quite a while ago. And the New Face is the most expensive device, right? I mean, geez, that, that was, that's a lot of money. Um, anyways, everything I'm going to talk about has been purchased by me, and with the exception of one serum. And, um, and then I think... Um, I think I mentioned my original new face, which I, I, that was gifted to me, I don't know, three years ago or something like that. Anyways, um, yeah, so I hope you're curious and um, I hope you're, you stay tuned and please, if you're new to the channel, like the video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you haven't. I truly, truly would appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining me this week and have a wonderful rest of your week. Oh, stay tuned. Don't leave. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh my gosh, I know I look a fright. So I have absolutely no um, makeup on, just a little bit of mascara. And only a little bit because I put a lot more mascara on when I actually do my makeup. So hopefully I was able to film an intro so you can see what my makeup kind of looks like after I finished. But many of you have asked, um, what is my Retin-A? What is my skincare process? And um, so typically at night, you know, I still use Retin-A and I use the 1%. I do buy it, my Tretinoin, I buy it off of Reliable um, RX. And um, I've had no problem. I use the gel. I can never really find the cream, so most of the time I just use the gel. It is just way, way more affordable and it's just as good. It's just as good to me. But anyway, so typically at night, Maybe four times a week, I use my tretinoin, and I put my tretinoin over my face pretty liberally. I am not, you know, super concerned about using just a tiny bit because I, I buy it so affordable. So I normally will do that at night. When I get up in the morning, I kind of just wash my face unless I need to exfoliate. 
I just kind of take a, a face cloth. It has sort of an older face cloth, a little bit of rough, and I just use it with water. I don't tend to, unless I feel I need to, like I'm saying, if I have a lot of flakes or anything like that, I don't tend to use a cleanser in the morning. I use all my cleansers at night. And, you know, what I've been doing lately, too, and this is what I wanted to mention, I purchased this particular product off of Amazon. And I'm not advocating that this is what you should do at all. But I had, I had been using, you know, the, the manual um, trophy skin exfoliation, which is the bigger device and all that. And I've been wanting something that was a little bit more portable because of the fact that I'm in my motorhome a lot in the summertime and and I just don't want to have to um you know pack a big heavy or a big bulky item. So I purchased this I don't even know how you say it, pop pie P O P P Y O. I don't know if the camera's picking up on this off of Amazon. And it does exactly the same thing as my Trophy Skin MD does, except in a smaller device. So it has, um, when you open it up, it does have a number of different, whoops, I don't want to do it upside down. Um, it does have a number of different attachments. So if you want to, this one is really kind of cool because this is like an exfoliation. If you put this on, it has these little filters that you put in. And then it has these tools that I've never used, which apparently are probably more, if you were going to, I don't know, they look pretty gross or scary, you know, extract maybe um, a deep pimple or anything like that or something. I've never used that. I just use this for my pores basically and that's what I use my trophy skin for the bigger device but anyway so this has a number of little four different attachments four different sizes the one for my pores especially around my nose is this one it's sort of shaped a little bit differently not quite round and I will put it on and I will just go very gently I don't put it on heavy I don't pull on my skin I don't hold it in one spot um, you can turn it on, and it has little different intensity levels. It does come with a, a rechargeable thing, so I really like that. I keep it in the box. It has a little plastic sleeve. I just put it in. And like I said, I bought this mainly for using it when I'm away camping. And I really like it. So I find that I use it more at home rather than pulling out the trophy skin device. So cheaper obviously a heck of a lot cheaper i'm not saying it is as good i don't know i'm not an expert i just know that i needed something that was a little bit more mobile and i love it it's rechargeable i've used it a number of times and i clean it you know clean the head and then i store it and i probably use this maybe once a week sometimes twice a week really all depends on what my skin is doing one thing that I've done, and if you're wondering what's on my head, this is my frowny, and then I have, um, which, which one, I don't even know which ones I have, under eye masks, oh, here it is. I have um, Good Molecules Caffeine Energizing Hydrogel Eye Patches. I'm pretty sure I bought this at Ulta. I could have bought it off of Amazon, but I'm pretty sure I bought it at Ulta. I think you can get it both. I happen to like these eye masks or eye patches as they call them the best. I have another one that I bought in Ulta and it's a dark blue. Um, oh, I think I have it right here. Hold on. Yeah, it's purple. And, I'm, and I paid a lot more money for this than I did my Good Molecules. And it's called Florence by Mills. Now I'm using it up, obviously, because I don't want it to go to waste. But this sort of the patches are purple. I find them very hard to um, 
I just don't like them as much, I think, as the good molecules, but I find them harder to get out of the container than the good molecules. And, and in my opinion, I don't like to have more than one open at a time because I don't want them to dry out. I'm pretty careful I close them. I don't think they'll dry out. But I find them hard to get out of the container. Sometimes I've, even though there's a little like spatula thing that comes with it, sometimes I've grabbed and I've gotten two, which is a real pain in the, pain in the butt. So anyways, uh, purchased, everything so far is purchased. You know, there's all this controversy over sponsored and, you know, all of that. I look at it this way. If a brand wants to pay me and send me a product to review, then, and they're paying me money, um, and sometimes they want to have a contract, then I consider that to be a sponsored video. If I just randomly get a product sent to me that I didn't even request, which has happened, or a company reaches out to me randomly, um, I didn't reach out to them, and they want to send me a product. If that product is sent um, without a contract, without any stipulation for a review, without any, we need to approve what you say, without any scripts, without any compensation, other than you're getting a product that you may or may not ever use, um, you know, I don't consider that sponsored. I consider that that company sent me, gifted me, in exchange for a review, a product. So to me, that's, that's very different. But anyways, both, everything I've mentioned so far has been purchased by me. And um, yeah, and I always say if something was gifted, you know, I always say that in my videos anyways. But like I said, I don't consider if something is, is sent complimentary, a product unsolicited by me, as sponsored. Sponsored would be, I had a company reach out recently that wanted me to try a product and I said, oh, I'd be interested in trying that. Then they said, okay, we have a contract for you. I opened up the contract and was leery about it, but I opened up the contract and it said, uh, I had to, you know, have X amount of video length. I had to talk about the video. I had to send them a preview of the video, a link before it went published. I had to agree to edit anything out that they didn't like and they provided me a script. And compensation was after the video was published um, and it was stayed had to stay up for 30 days because I guess there must be some people that publish videos and then take them down. I didn't do that. So I just said, no, thank you. I, I, there's no way I'm gonna record a video upload it to YouTube, keep it private, and then have to re-edit it. It's just impossible for me to do. So anyways, back to my skincare. I'm going on and on. I'm ranting in many different directions. Back to my skincare. I have, um, I've used a new face device. I actually like the Myco Current device. I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to use, um, just to kind of show you, I have, I'm going to put a little gel on and, whoops, I just hit my eye patch. Um, for those of you that are curious how this works, there's a little beep, and I can feel a, there's the beep. I can feel a slight bit of vibration, not very much at all. And what I think is happening with this device is that it has gotten old. I had a new face that was gifted to me, I don't know, two th years ago. I loved it, but it, it, it failed. It uh, stopped working. I mentioned that in a video. And when it stopped working like that, I'm trying to do my mouth a little bit here, um, I was really disappointed because I was really liking it. So I'm kind of mentally counting here to, I think, five, ten, yeah, ten, and I lift. What I'm trying to do is lift up my upper lip a little bit. And then when I come here, if I count, you know, it's, I think, you know, 10 seconds maybe, and I hear the beep, and then I lift and go up. So obviously, I have to put the moisture on the side of my face. What this is doing is stimulates your muscles. And I believe it will help move too fast because I'm not concentrating. I believe it'll help tighten your skin over the course of time. And like everything else, diet, exercise, 
you know, you have to be super consistent. Anyways, at this point in time, I have this on the highest and I no longer feel any any tingling, any anything at all. Barely hear any kind of a button, um, you know, the noise. So I'm going to shut this back off. Anyways, I had, as I said, the new face device, and then I had the I had purchased the Fabushi, Fabushi, and this was a knockoff. I think I paid like under fifty dollars for this when I bought it. And I used it for a long time. It is, it is, I could tell the last, within the last month and a half, it was starting to fail. And I figured, well, you know, it's lasted a lot longer than my new face device lasted. Yay. But it started to fail. So I started to look around to what I could buy. And I kept seeing this Evertone. Evertone um, displayed on my Facebook page. So I checked into it and I thought mm, all right I'm gonna try it so my ever tone came in this week and I just want to show you I I think they keep saying it's 50% off I think it's 50% off all the time I think most of the prices I've seen have been like 98 and then if you have a coupon it's 70 something so this cost me I think 74 or 73 dollars I would have to look it is the exact same feel as the new face as my Fabushi I no longer have my new face, but you know, take a look. Right, new face uh, dupe at the time was the Fabushi, looked identical to my new face, and this is the Evertone. I purchased this, and it came. Um, it arrived. It has a little bit of a bag. It came with the directions. It came with a charging port. And, of course, the directions are the same as everything else. You can turn it on and then you run your face. A gel, Everglow Serum, Activating Serum, which I think is the same idea as any of the gels, whether or not you want to use an aloe vera or something else. You do need to have sort of a conducting serum or a conducting gel. I still have a big thing of the new face that I purchased eons ago. So, anyways, I use this or this one, I have been using this very well uh, consistently. I had dropped off for a while after I had my most surgery and uh, then I started up again. So I use this pretty consistently, sometimes every morning. If I was going out in the evening and I was gonna wash my face and start all over again, I sometimes use it in the evening because I do think it just exercises your skin. So after I get up in the morning and maybe, you know, I've rinsed my skin off. I typically always start my morning off with a vitamin C. Now, I'll put on my timeless vitamin C or any vitamin C that I'm currently using. And I'm very fussy with vitamin C's because it has to play with my makeup. I put my vitamin C on and then depending on what happens with my skin, if I've already done this, right, or not, whoops. If I go through the rest of my skincare, my morning skincare, pretty simple. Vitamin C, some sort of peptide, whatever peptide I'm using. This one happens to be 5% Agerilline Amplified Peptide Booster Serum. This is by Simple Science. I believe this was sent to me complimentary from the Octoline Network. It's almost half gone, so I've been using it for a while. It's right down to here. I've been using it for a while. I like it. Um, I like peptides. You know, I think peptides are really good for your skin. And then I also, currently I'm using Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This I purchased, I'm pretty sure, at Ulta. So, and then when I do my vitamin C, my peptides, my hyaluronic, if I need a little bit more moisture, this will probably freak you guys out. But um, I use sometimes a little bit of petroleum jelly if it's right near my dry areas and put that on just a tiny bit at night. I might use that a little bit more. But anyways, once I have that all done, that's when I let everything dry. I'm doing my thing and I always, always use a sunblock. I don't care. Sunblock, sunblock, sunblock. So I talked about this in my last video. This is the e.l.f. and um, you shake it because it is more watery than the Trader Joe's. Um, I just can't get the Trader Joe's. 
I would love to get the Trader Joe's because it's more affordable than the Elf. But I'm not going to pay 25 bucks like I saw on Amazon for the Trader Joe's. I'll use the Elf. There is a difference between um, this Elf Invisible Sun Shield and the Glow one. They look the same. I'll superimpose a picture in here. They look the same, but they are completely different. So then I put this on and I'm very generous with it. It feels very good, sort of silicone-y, sort of like closes in my pores and it's you know almost 70. I've got a ton of pores, I've got a lot of texture. And, and, um, and I let that dry and then I start with whatever makeup I'm going to, to put on. So my morning routine is pretty simple in that sense. And uh, my evening routine is a little bit different, but my morning routine is a little bit simple. You know, if my skin is really peeling, I'm going to do that exfoliation. And I'm really glad that I purchased this one um, because it's so much easier for me. I just can grab it, you know, and charge it. And then I can do, if I need to do a, you know, an exfoliation like this. But a lot of times I have a face cloth that has nubbies on it, soft face cloths, and I'm able to do that. And that works out really well. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I know this has been kind of like a long rambling uh, video, but um, I wanted to share some of this with you because I always get these questions. I will be 70 in February. That freaks me out. 70 in February. Holy camole. Anyways, uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to like the video, leave me a comment. And I am a little late on getting back to comments lately. Life has just been really busy. Um, yeah, it's just been really busy. So thank you all so much, and I will chat with you later.